What is going on everybody? Welcome back to TPA 8 Geek and today we have an airport update for Flint Bishop International Airport. But this one right here is not a regular Flint airport update. This Flint airport update will consist of a retro Flint Bishop airport update. We're talking about retro about we're talking about April 2018 those kind of times around those times of the years. So we're going to have the Allegiant McDonnell Douglases Southwest which used to fly here in 2018 they went away. Uh, in 2018, sadly, I wish it would have stayed. That would have been amazing. Uh, the only one off thing that I do want to mention is United New Livery E175. New Livery came around in 2019 uh, and in 2018. So just ignore the fact that it's a uh, new, uh, new livery aircraft. Try to do my best on the retro airport. Kind of did this because uh, Flint used to get more action before than it does now. Before Delta, Southwest... It used to fly here quite a lot, so I decided to do a retro airport just to display all these planes and make a um, much better Flint airport update. One last announcement I want to make before we do get into this airport update is I've added those little one inch squares around the whole airport, so that will make it look much better, much more realistic, like concrete slabs. Uh, like I'll show a picture on the screen, so that would be pretty realistic. I'll have seen a lot of people doing that, I'll be doing that from now on for each and every of my airports. This one took me about seven days to do We're talking about a week here but with that news out of the way let's get right into this awesome retro flint bishop international airport and let's get right in here with the first aircraft at gate one we have a united express e175 in the brand new livery i know this is kind of unrealistic forget about the new livery just pretend it's an old livery for 2018 but this e175 is still going strong for fly out to chicago here after arrival in from chicago here Alrighty, and then chugging along right here we have a beautiful legion air urbis 8319 uh, back in 2018 delivery was already a thing it started being a thing in 2017 so this aircraft i've recently found out that a legion used to park in gate 3 and i think they still do i'm not 100 percent sure but this Airbus a319 came in from a punta gorda he will be heading out to sarasota and a quick mention i wanted to make here uh as it's right next to the allegiant 319 gate so i just i added this brand new gate right here in between the allegiant gate and the other gate around it because flint has 11 gates in total so that makes it 10 and that is realistic to what is there in real life because in real life they have allegiance gate the gate 3 then we have that one that i just recently put in the middle and then they have another one on the side so it makes three and then in between gate 2 and gate 3 there is another gate which will mean 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so that would be realistic to flint so next up, on uh, the next airport update, I should have that one line in between gate 2 and gate 3. And continue on with Allegiant, now we're moving into the more retro side of things. We have an Allegiant Air, McDonnell Douglas MD-83, I think it is. This aircraft came in from Orlando Sanford, and he is going to be heading on over back to St. Petersburg. And moving on to a really cool site that you used to see a lot in Flint if you're local there, and that is Southwest, which which sadly has left the airport. I really wish they came back because I really, really would like to have a Flint airport update with Southwest in it. But we got the opportunity to do a retro one, so let's take advantage of it and not take it for granted. But it would be awesome if Southwest would return to Flint, but... Highly doubt that's going to happen. But right here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700. This aircraft came in from Orlando MCO. And he's going to be heading on over to Las Vegas. And yep, this is the last gate. Flint Airport updates go by really quickly. They go by on a fly. But right here we have an American Eagle E-145 in the uh, Operative Envoy in the old livery. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Chicago here after arrival in from Chicago O'Hare, Illinois. Alrighty, and with that being said, this concluded 
uh, the beautiful, awesome, retro Flint Bishop International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell, so you'll never miss out on any upcoming uploads. With that being said, my name is CPA Geek, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.